Well, hell, fired as rock the riff, and I am back for another Metalhead Envy. I feel bad. This was a request from XD Trick Knifer2752. Said you should listen to Intro Terrestrial by New Age Doom. It's a microtonal prog rock song with jazz mixed in. The intro riff kind of sounds similar to King Gizzard. I, I accidentally skipped over this one uh, the day that I was supposed to do it. I think I was running behind on schedule and it's a long song so this is going to be a long reaction so if you're checking this out stick around to the end but uh thank you for the suggestion i don't mean to skip them some days like i i only got a few hours every other day to be able to to work in the studio and do these so when i don't have enough time sometimes i'll check what's next and see if it's a shorter song and anything but yeah Let's dive on in. Yeah. Straight up snake charmer. So I gotta agree, XD Trick Knifer. If I closed my eyes, heard this, and you told me it was all, it was a uh, deep cut off of LG or, or KW or LG, I would believe you. It has that microtonal, uh, like straight up. It's almost like l lifted from the, the same tone, everything. Mix master wise. one of those songs i wish there was like a studio live studio version or a video of them in the studio playing this it's such a cool soundscape and everything and i'm getting lost in it but i also want to see like who's playing what what's going on what was it i can't remember the name of the band i checked out maybe it'll come to me Is that a saxophone? I like that pad too. That's a wind flute or a flute, right? This song to me is straight up two things I can think of. One, my own days of token. <laughs> I wish I'd have known this song back in the day, man, sitting there with a bowl or a joint. First two or three hits, and you just hit play on this and just lose yourself sitting there. <laughs> token. But then also, I could picture this song being used in a movie. And like, the drug scene of a movie. Like if it was the main character's first time ever taking something. I'm like, come on, man. I'm like, trust me, you'll be fine. And then they take it and they're, they're starting to trip. And this is the soundtrack to the trip. <laughs> I don't know if that's terrible to say, but it's what it makes me think of.
makes me think of the Beatles and Dewey Cox. We're the Beatles. Come on, Dewey. Oh no, Dewey. Sounds mean. <laughs> that shit sounds so good. I want to say, is that a bass with a good hard filter on it, or is that keyboard with a good hard filter on it? I hope it's a bass, because that's just like a like that's just a mean fucking riff. I love that style of riffing. I don't know, what what do you call that? Because I, I just posted a couple. I've been getting back into doing my own 15-second riffs. I, I had a time where I, I was pretty bad. Like, I don't know. I wasn't feeling, I didn't have the muse. Hell, I don't even, I don't even have the guitar hanging up right now because I've got it close to me so I can mess with it. But that whole... That's what it sounds like to me. I don't know if my mic is picking it up. I'd have to get my actual acoustic. But that bam, ba ba bam, ba bam. I want to grab my acoustic off the wall. Y'all see my chicken legs. <laughs> I got chicken legs. Need to hang that one. I need to hang that one off. Yeah, that riff. Damn, that riff sounded so good. <laughs> That what that is? This thing is so out of thing. <laughs> I ain't gonna fuck with it, but that's what it sounds like. section it's a it's chaos 
Which to me, jazz is chaos. But it's such a controlled chaos, if that makes sense. <laughs> I like it, man. I enjoy it. I think I don't think there can't be any metalheads that really get into riff writing and really get into like it's like I love weird time signatures because I don't understand them. And I don't understand them in the sense that like when I write stuff, half the time my drummer that I work with, he's he's a he's just a beat machine and he'll tell me he has to explain to me what exactly I'm doing and I'm more like, man, I just play what I feel like. Like how I I just like how that that riff falls into the beat or the timing of it and everything. There's been plenty of times he'll be like, well, some of that don't make sense. But then there and again, I listen to jazz and I'm like, man, somebody somewhere it makes sense. <laughs> but this is such a cool little track so far. Intraterrestrial. This is a vibe. Fucking straight up vibe check. Sounds like a brass instrument, but is it a rolling synth? Is it emulated on the keyboard? And like, it sounds like one of those things you would hit the note and the actual filter effect on the keyboard is what's making it chop like that. Like, I think so. That's cool. This thing is just peppered with riffs that I feel like I would want to, like, write myself. I love the style of this. I think New Age Doom has... If New Age Doom's discography is like this, if this is what their wheelhouse is, it's doing these long, atmospheric, spacey, jazzy tracks, I feel like I'm going to listen to New Age Doom a lot. That's, this is really cool.
chaotic it could get that was a roller coaster to me i don't know especially if you're a stoner like if you're a stoner jazz fan it should be right up your alley i like it i like the roller coasters i feel like we went on a journey from the beginning to the end i like right here near the ass end too it, it was more like a a tribal feel I felt like I could hear, like, <laughs> like, <laughs> like I just pictured people around the campfire. Just, <laughs> That's when the peyote is like fucking hardcore. And you're looking, yeah. If this song doesn't get used in a movie, somebody's missing out. That's a perfect like trip. That's a perfect trip for a main character to go through taking some shit yeah i think it's got to be peyote i've never tried it but i've always heard it's pretty good shit of course the weed nowadays whew, hellfire i remember when we used to get regular weed now it's all comatose uh, uh, xd trick sniper thank you thank you thank you thank you thank you and thank you some more for making the suggestion. If this ends up being your first time to my channel, please leave a like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what your thoughts are. If you're a big fan of New Age Doom, give me some trivia. I have no clue who they are. I've never heard of them. Hopefully I can post this. Uh, when I was checking this video out, I saw that they had the comments turned off. So this could be blocked, but if you're seeing it, it means it didn't. Uh, if you have a suggestion you would love for me to check out, swig over the community tab, scroll down, you'll see Metalhead Emmy's Round 4 Suggestions. That is the best place to, that is the place to leave your requests. Uh, easiest way for me to keep track of everything, everybody, that everything that everybody wants me to check out. And uh, y'all got to see my chicken legs. <laughs> oh, I fucking hate showing my legs on camera. Uh, yeah, I can't think of nothing else to say. So stay positive, stay rocking, and I'll catch y'all in the next one.